it going everyone? David from DOD Media. Da -da 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 -da. Let's try that again. How's it going everyone? David from DOD Media. Today I want to show you a very quick tutorial because I need to hop on a flight very quickly, but what I want to show you is how you can create that awesome blurry letter title sequence that you saw in that little montage, 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 just there. And it's really quick to do, it's really easy to do, so all you need is a working copy of After Effects. Let's go. Okay, so we're in After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We'll call it uh, Title Blur. Let's make it a 4K comp. Cool, cool, cool. 10 seconds long, 23.976 frames a second. Black background, fantastic. Okay, now if we double click on the text, we'll create a new text item and we'll call it Title Blur. Now it's in black, so you can't see anything. So let's just Control A or Command A and make that white. Lovely. Then if you select it and your anchor point isn't centered, just have it selected, come up to this little box here, hold control or command and double click and it will center your anchor point. Then you can go to the align tab and just align it so it's nice and centered. Now that's a little bit small, so I'm actually gonna make this bigger, like kind of there. Okay, so from here it's really simple and everything you do is gonna be done within the text parameters. You're not gonna be coming up to effects and presets and applying any effects on there. If you drop down this little arrow on your text, you can see animate. If you click that, add blur. And blur, we can make that maybe, I don't know, 50, let's try. Yep, that looks good. Cool. Then to animate this blur, we're gonna add a property, opacity. And if we drop down range selector here, what we can actually do, and drop down advanced as well, what we can actually do is start playing around with the offset. So range selector toggles through all of the characters that are in your text. So let's quickly change the shape of this to ramp up and then turn on randomize order. That way it's not gonna start from left to right or from right to left. It's actually gonna affect each character individually on a random pattern. Right now we're on the random seed zero. So that's great. Next up, keyframe offset and make that minus 100. Then come along to where you want your title to be fully revealed. I find that a slow reveal for this works really nicely. So sort of over two seconds and bring that up to 100%. Then select both of those, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And now you can see it's doing that nice blur. But the problem is that it's still fully opaque. Now the reason that we added that opacity effect there is so that actually we can drag this down to zero and what will happen is it starts at zero opacity and gradually blurs in and brings up the transparency, the opacity of the letters at the same time. That way it does that really nice smooth reveal. Okay, then select these two keyframes, hit Ctrl or Command C, come to the end, hit Ctrl or Command V to paste them, right click, keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes, and now what you have is from the beginning, it fades in with the blur, la 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 la, and then it fades out with the blur. The fade out, again, I quite like it to be longer even than the intro, so maybe three to four seconds. I'll make it four seconds because that way the viewer has time to kind of read it and they're still picturing it in their head as the letters are blurring out. And that looks really nice. Now, if you notice the letters that are blurring up first, say B and R with a T and an E as well. If I come to this out blur, it's the same thing. And the reason for that is because we're on random seed zero. So while it's random, it's actually just gonna stick to that random seed, that random pattern, so it's not random. So what we need to do is actually change that random seed so that it changes which letters are blurring out on the way out so that they're different to the letters that came in first on the way in. And the best way to do this is literally just to drop a couple of keyframes when there's no animation happening. So up here, when your full title is revealed, there's no blur, there's no opacity change, just hit that random seed keyframe, skip one frame, and then change that to random seed one or random seed whatever suits you. You can toggle through random seed one to find you know the, the combination that you really like, but to be honest, I'm just I'm quite happy with one. Great, and now it comes up T-B-R-E as the first letters and it fades out T-L-L-R as the last letters. This is practically done, but the problem is there's not any movement in the title. So what we could do is we could either scale up the entire title by selecting the layer, hitting S, coming to the beginning, hit the keyframe there, hit O to go to the end of this layer and bring it up to maybe, I don't know, 105. And that way it will scale up very gradually like that, lovely. 
Another thing we can do to make it slightly more interesting is to drop down this arrow again, come to animate and go to tracking. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to animate the tracking. Now tracking is the distance between the letters without actually increasing the scale of the letters. So if we hit that keyframe on tracking amount, again, hit O to go to the very end of that layer, hit another keyframe and let's track it maybe 15. And we don't want to make this easy ease or the scale because we want it to be a very constant thing. We want it to be a constant animation from start to end so that it doesn't look like it's suddenly speeding up or increasing its scale so that it looks constant. And now if we play this through, beautiful. And the beauty of doing it this way using the animate features on the text itself is that now we can go ahead and change this to whatever we want, DoD Media Presents. And it won't actually change any of our keyframes, it won't change any of the placement, and the random seed will take care of randomizing every single letter so that we don't have that same fade in and fade out animation. I could even come up here and change the font if I wanted to, to something that's a little thicker or just a different font face. Font face? Typeface. With this animation, I wouldn't recommend going with the kind of trendy chalk look, that painted look that you're seeing a lot on YouTube at the moment, because it just doesn't really... I don't think this fading in really works with sort of handwritten letters. I think it works really nicely with a typeface. So something like this, something like Couture, which is a fantastic font, or uh, Nexa Light, or Gotham, or Helvetica Neue, or that kind of thing, they're all really good fonts for this effect. And that's basically it. There you go. That's how you can create a awesome blurry lettered title, which comes in, the letters spread apart, and it just, it looks great. It looks really cool, and it's so easy to do. All right, I hope you found this useful. Give it a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Hit that subscribe button to get more videos from me at DoD Media. Hit the little bell there to get notified when I release a new one. Trying to aim for every Wednesday and Saturday at the moment. See if that works, see if it doesn't. As always, leave a comment in the comment section. If I find it useful for me or for others, you may win something free from my store. I'll see you in the next video. All right, what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? DSLR. We go with the Canon 60 and 35 Sigma. Mm, lovely lens. Good old trusty Gorilla Pod. And a drone!